It's the most common cause of blindness, affecting more than a million Australians. Now, Queensland researchers could be close to a cure for macular degeneration. Their discovery also paves the way for dramatic improvements in the treatment of cancer and heart disease. This is the outlook for sufferers of macular degeneration, black holes, distortions and fading colours. It affects one in seven Australians over the age of 50 and is more prevalent than dementia. They will lose their central vision and will stop them from driving and it is actually the commonest cause of blindness in the elderly people. Current treatments can't effectively reach the macula and only stall the condition. But researchers from the University of Queensland have discovered a way to get it where it's needed using a tenth of the normal dose. It could just be a cure where maybe you have a couple of visits to the ophthalmologist and then it's done and dusted. The team, led by Dr Harry Parekh, have invented what's called a nano bubble, a tiny bubble which can be filled with drugs. They can be injected into the body and tracked using a simple ultrasound probe. Once they reach the spot where they're needed, sound waves from the probe are emitted and the bubbles explode, delivering the drug exactly where it's needed. So that it can heal and hopefully uh, reverse the disease and, and restore vision. This technology could potentially benefit millions of people. Researchers believe it could also be used to more effectively deliver drugs directly into tumours, blocked arteries and blood clots. There's even interest from the cosmetic sector, which is looking into how it could be used to treat cellulite. Chemotherapy causes a lot of debilitating side effects. So imagine if we were to, to administer only a tenth of that dose of drug. Funding is now needed to build a probe suitable for humans, but once it's developed, human trials could begin within two years. It could have a considerable knock-on effect uh, to, to the healthcare costs, uh, not only for cancer, but for eye diseases, uh, for cardiovascular disease as well. Kathlanders, Nine News.